Hi crafty friends, welcome to the Crafty Seas. Today we are on to share our make for the hashtag peel off challenge hosted by the lovely Teresa at Carboot Crafter and she's hosting a fun challenge to challenge us to use up our crafty stash and some of those peel offs we may have hoarded away and if you're anything like ourselves I'm sure you've got some peel offs somewhere in your crafty stash. So for the challenge we've grabbed our peel offs that we store in this handy little container that we got from a charity shop a little while ago. So we dug out our peel offs and the very first prompt for this challenge was to use your word or sentiment peel offs. So we dug out some of them from our stash and we decided to use this new Stamps By Me tags and topper pad. And this is something that we purchased recently using a voucher from our advent calendar by Stamps By Me. And if you'd like to see the full unboxing, I'll leave a video of that down below. And these are basically beautiful hot foiled tags that you can colour and decorate yourself. So we decided to use these as the foiling on it was the same shade as some of our gold peel offs. And we've coloured our tags in using some metallic watercolours. And here are our finished tags for the peel off challenge. So the first one here, we've used the thinking of you peel off sentiment. And as I said, the gold shade was the perfect match for these gold foiling pads. And this will make a lovely tag to add to a gift or in some mail when you are thinking of someone. And we've added a little dragonfly charm here to the top. And peel offs are so handy and quick for adding sentiments and finishing touches to tags and cards and bags. And it's really good as well if you don't have any embossing powders or hot foiling or cold foiling. It gives that lovely metallic finish and all you have to do is peel and stick. And on this one here we have used the sentiment get well soon and the little gold dots here are actually the waste from the peel offs. So when you peel this off the carrier sheet you'll have little bits left on the carrier sheet and don't throw them away. You can use them as faux enamel dots and embellishments as well. And down here we've also put a little peel off ladybird. So that's our get well soon in the yellow and we put a matching yellow ribbon. And I think everyone will have some happy birthday peel offs in their stash. So we've just added this happy birthday gold to this tag with the purples. And we've put a little splatter effect there with the watercolours. And we had great fun using the watercolours and this topper pad by Stamps By Me. It was really good quality watercolour card and it coloured beautifully. And another great thing about peel offs is if you have very textured card or a difficult surface to adhere to such as vellum or acetate that might not take stamping very well a peel off will give you the perfect finish every time and on this one again we've just used some of the waste from our word peel offs and a little floral peel off here as an eyelet and here we've made a little card topper again just using the happy birthday peel off and it's absolutely the perfect match for this hot foiling and really gives an elegant touch to this little card topper. I hope you'll agree. And last but not least, we've made another little card topper here. Get well soon, peel off. And again, we've used the waste from the peel offs as a little embellishment on it. So I hope that's inspired you to dig out some of your peel offs and get using your crafty stash. Please check out Teresa's channel for the full details on the peel off challenge. And you can follow along using the hashtag, hashtag peel off challenge. And if you've enjoyed today's video, pop back to the channel because we'll be continuing to use our peel off stash in different and exciting ways to use up our crafty stash. So it's just a quick make for today. Please check out the hashtag and the links down below. Have a great weekend and until next time, happy crafting!